Speaking of Major League Baseball, well, they are adopting a new drug policy. This is Major League Baseball. The league is going to start testing players for opioids. But marijuana will no longer be considered a banned substance. Jennifer Williams tells us what's behind the changes. First pitch. When 27-year-old Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs died of an overdose in July, it sent shockwaves through the sports world, and now it has sparked change. There was a, a lot of uh, sort of self-satisfaction across the teams that they had dealt with the issue of drug distribution a few years ago. And, and, and what this shows is that there was a recognition that their policies were out of date. On Thursday, Major League Baseball and the Players Association announced a joint agreement to begin testing for opioids and cocaine this upcoming spring training. What really breaks my heart about the Tyler Skaggs case is this is a 27-year-old who was under intense physical pressure to perform, and he wasn't able to uh, to, to have a conversation with the, uh, with the team to get what he needed in a safe way. THC, CBD, and marijuana will also be removed from the list of prohibited drugs and will be treated the same as alcohol. Players will also no longer be subjected to suspensions for marijuana use. We're now at a point where a majority of states across the country have decriminalized and legalized cannabis for medicinal use. And the reality is that, uh, you know, while cannabis has problems associated with it and it can also be misused, it is not killing people. And that's a big difference. Over the next two seasons, mandatory training will be required for players and staff on the dangers of opioid medications and the use of medicinal marijuana. I hope the other sports leagues will follow suit because I think this problem is not just a baseball problem. It's across every sport and uh, the same issues that Major League Baseball confronted here need to be addressed before one more uh, athlete or one more person dies. Reporting for Fox 5 News, I'm Jennifer Williams. Well, 10 former...